Are you looking for new and innovative ways to expose your music? Then you'll definitely want to check out our next interview with Dylan Owens, co-founder of the new artist platform, Upriser, a new way to expose your music. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Rich Ezra from MUBU TV. We're coming to you live from Muse Expo here in Hollywood. This channel is dedicated to musicians, bands, and artists and music business professionals of today and the future. We managed to catch up with Dylan Owens of Upriser. Dylan, thank you so much for joining us. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you. Dylan, tell us about your background in the business. Okay, so I've been in the TV and film business for over 20 years um, as a writer, producer, director, editor. Um, pretty hands-on when it comes to production. I'm also into editing and motion graphics. and. That experience has led me to have interactions and be doing business at all levels of the industry. So from, like I said, from hands-on to pr production to de uh, dealing with development execs and at networks and things like that in terms of you know negotiating contracts and also a lot of corporate clients and stuff over the years. So it's a fairly, fairly broad range of, of, uh, of experience. You've created a platform for creators called Upriser. That's and, right. And I'm curious, what was the inspiration behind it? Necessity. Necessity is the mother of invention. You know, I think that regardless of, so Upriser is, is a, it's a showcase and a marketplace platform for the entertainment industry. And it literally spans right across music, film, TV, and comedy. Upriser is the online platform where emerging artists gain international exposure and get discovered by our global network of industry professionals. Start your Upriser campaign in minutes and make it happen. Set your goals, upload and launch. Win awards and prizes and participate in the Upriser sessions. Sell your music online. Whether you want to get signed, make a film or TV deal, or you just want to build your fan base and book some gigs, Upriser is for you. Join the Upriser community now and start to rise. That's clear. Roger. What I discovered or what I noticed was that there, regardless of what sort of creative discipline you're coming from, the problems are universal, namely that really great talent struggles to get discovered, particularly in this saturated market. So there's tons and tons of platforms where you can put your content, be it a short movie, be it comedy stand-up, be, your, be it you know, your, your music video or wh whatever it is. And um, However, the chances of actually getting discovered by an industry professional are slim to none. And when that does happen, in other words, if an A&R guy or a music supervisor should stumble across your, your track on YouTube, there's actually no mechanics to do business there. So in other words, a music supervisor can't go, wow, I love this song, you know, I want it. There's no button to click that says license this song, or there's no button to click to even get in contact with the artist in any, you know, meaningful way. So that obstacle then means that, um, you know, it makes it difficult for industry professionals as well, you know, at, at all levels. So, yeah, so what we've created is what I would describe as a giant uh, talent uh, filtration system. So, you know, for the industry pros at the top, what we're, we're giving them is a curated, uh, streamlined, if you like, uh, feed of a pre-curated musicians, film and TV projects and comedy projects as well. So, I pr yeah. T tell me about the music side of it. Okay, so for the for the music side, again, the real the problem is, and it's particularly for 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 musicians, is that they the most talented musicians are still struggling to get discovered. And one would imagine, with all of the technology that exists, this would be really straightforward, you know. But on Upriser, our our sort of motto is, if you're talented, you will rise, because you're going into a funnel whereby you're guaranteed to have your content reviewed by a panel of industry experts, and we've got a what I would describe 
describe as a proprietary sort of uh, rating system whereby uh, musicians their content isn't just you know like don't like it's not so it's not so binary uh, so we rate things like vocals stage presence uh, lyrics songwriting uh, music uh, TV and uh, sync potential so how you know how suitable it would be for for uh, placement in a commercial that type of thing and then commercial viability because sometimes amazingly talented musicians you know there isn't the market for what they're you know what they're playing it might might not be so mainstream so all of those metrics then give us the ability to well a be able to uh, tell the artist where they're at so when an artist signs up with us we we sort of ask them well what do you need do you need a manager an agent are you looking to book tours are you looking to just gig in your local city what is it you want and then when, once we're able to sort of analyze their music we can come back and tell them their strengths and weaknesses and then that gives them a sort of a realistic path to to getting there so we all know that there's you know there's lots of, of great musicians and they just need work so in some cases we have submissions and there's clearly talent there you know an amazing voice amazing songwriter but they've recorded on their iPhone and they really need to go in and record you know a few songs professionally they may need a music video or two before they're close to being what I would call market ready uh, conversely you've got some really highly polished music videos and they don't have any talent to save their life god bless them <laughs> <laughs> but that's it that's the reality of it is um, and so that's what that's what we do in terms of in terms of the the filtration process and sorry just an another point of there what 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 um, the the benefit of being able to identify the strengths and weaknesses for an artist is if perhaps they're really strong on vocals and they're singing their own songs but they're just not great at, at, at writing songs then we can tell them look you've got an amazing voice just you know sing a different song and we can even suggest to them the type of, of you know the type of songs that might be suitable for them and conversely you could have somebody who cannot sing to save their life but they're an amazing poet and a songwriter and why should they be penalized because they can't sing if they've got an, an amazing songwriting talent in which case we would then of course try to match them with the the industry professionals that they would need in order to essentially make money out of their songwriting skills. Mm, okay. Y you have something on the site, uh, on Upriser, called Upriser Sessions. Yeah. And I'm curious, can you talk about what that is and what it's, what function it serves? Okay, so the Upriser Sessions, sp again, spans across music, film, TV, and comedy. And essentially that is where we're taking the relationship with the artists offline. And we're, uh, we're uh, doing showcase music sessions. And we're doing sh industry showcases. And But it's also a chance for us to work directly with the artists to help them develop their skills. So the way Upriser works in terms of our, our our business model is that we will step in and essentially represent or, or, or sign a development deal with the top 2% of artists. Statistically, that's kind of what it is. Top 2% of artists that sign up with us statistically are worthy of development. And with that in mind, we need to take the relationship offline. So a lot, while a lot of it can be automated, at, at some point we need, to, we need to work with them. And so what that means is we will be bringing a, se a selection of artists to a city, be it New York, London or LA, um, probably for about four or five days in, in like these next few that we're doing. So for about four or five days. And the first few days is just us helping, coaching them. So one-to-one -one sessions with industry professionals. We, again, you know, bearing in mind that this is the product of us having analyzed their music, their strengths and weaknesses seeing what they need and as well helping them enabling them to understand the business because again there's often a shortfall there between a deficit between talent having the talent and having an understanding of the mechanics of the business so the first few days of, of those sessions I mean sessions is a pretty broad term but the first few days is us working with them we might get them into a studio to work with the producer that we feel that they would work with and then on the last day or two we have a series of live sessions in which we'll invite industry professionals but it, you know it really doesn't matter who's there as long as it's a live audience and it's a it's a really good set and it's professionally filmed then we've got a product for those artists and we can then that we can uh, put that back on the platform to uh, to allow then our wider our wider uh, uh, industry uh, network to to see what we've done okay you know you, you had spoken earlier about you know one of the purposes of developing upriser and I'm curious in your own experience with upriser or with just dealing with talent what have you found are the greatest challenges that creators face in today's uh, world well the barriers to creativity are to to producing content are all but gone 
right? So anybody can get a camera, any you know, within reason, you know. So if you've got a guitar and a voice and a microphone and a MacBook, you know, in your bedroom, you could potentially record something that could be a huge hit, right? So and people have and people have, of course they have, yeah. Um, and conversely, the same is true for the film industry. You know, indie filmmakers who've cut their teeth, you know, just you know, guerrilla style, um, and that you know that earns them the recognition. But again, it comes back to the same problem. It doesn't matter how talented you are if the in, if the relevant industry people who you need to sign you, develop you, book you, or in the case of film and TV, you know, develop your film and TV project. If they don't see you, then, you know, what, what's going to, you know, where, <laughs> where are you, you know? So that, that's really why, why we created Uprise. And I think that is the biggest problem. It is the biggest problem. Vis so visibility is the biggest issue. Yeah, in visibility. And don't get me wrong, there is also, there's also, you know, filtration, incubation, dissemination. They're the kind of three kind of core functions of, of Uprising. So the filtration process being sort of eliminating the people who, who you know, aren't so talented. And then the incubation being working with the ones who are talented, but just, you know, helping them discover what it is they need and matching them with the resources and the professionals they need to make that happen. And then when they're kind of market ready, then they become discoverable to our, what I call our top tier of industry professionals. So they're the, they're the music supervisors, the A&R guys, uh, you know, which specifically with the music industry, they're, you know, th those guys. And um, so, yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I think no, I might absolutely. Have gone off on a tangent there. No, that's fine. I, you know, I'm, I'm curious just to sort of stay on that thought. In your experience, you know, creating the platform, what do you find are the most common mistakes you find that beginning artists are making at, uh, uh, with with Upriser? You mean making with with regards to their submissions with us? Yeah, or well, that you find that they just make in general. We one of our prerequisites for the first submission is video, right? It's really important for us to be able to assess how what their stage presence is like. Are they able to tour? Are they able to perform live? Or you know, are they going to crumble to bits when they get outside their bedroom or they're asked to, to you know to perform live? So I think that um, I think that sometimes the the um, the the visual side of their performance might be lacking and it's something that they can they can work with and they might have a, a, a great voice and a great song but they just don't have that stage stage presence and look that's not necessarily any fault of their own uh, but it's something that I, I, I noticed that you go like this guy has got he's great like, but needs just maybe just needs more gigs or he just needs to get some confidence in terms of having that sort of charisma that that you know that 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 comes across because ultimately you know for the for the major artists that we're looking to sign that's you know that's part of the package it's got to be okay final question in your mind what do you feel is the greatest challenge that new artists outside of visibility face today well okay outside of visibility i'd say it's um i'd say it's probably discipline and uh, creative input. I find that it's, it's as with it's kind of natural for creative people. I think to sometimes exist in their own bubble, and what they produce, then they could they could reach a ceiling. And if they don't put it out there to people and say, "What do you think of this?" and and you know get get some feedback, they're not going to develop and they're not going to evolve. So whether you're a screenwriter or a director or or a singer songwriter, you can get better. You can perfect your craft. You can collaborate with others. But you've got to. Be be able to take that feedback you've got to be you know you've got to be open to that and sometimes that's difficult you know sometimes an artist uh, feels like they're ready and they're just not so you know they need they need to be able to take on board take do you know what I'm saying? Take on, take that feedback on board, but they also need to seek it out. So that's this is not necessarily through Upriser. I'm talking about they need to just you know go out there and perform. They need to put themselves out there, get the feedback, and sort of you know build, measure, learn, as I would say in the in the startup world, iterate. <laughs> Dylan, thank you so much for coming. Thank you and doing this. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, this is Rich Ezra at Mobu TV. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We'd love to get your comments, so be sure to leave them below. And make sure that you like and share the video as well. If you like this video, or if you're new to Mubu TV, we'd love to have you subscribe. So be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And also, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get notified by email every time we put out a new episode. And finally, we need to hear from you. We need to know what kinds of content and guests you're interested in at Mubu TV. So keep it tuned to your trusted source, Mubu TV, music, business, television.